All right, so this is a review on the album The Cookbook by Missy Elliott, aka Mr. Mina, aka the queen of hip hop. If there's anyone that's gonna be called the queen of hip hop, it should be her, yeah? It should be her. Facts upon facts, yeah? Who else agrees with that? Leave your answer in the comment section below. Here's why, right? Her this rock, this, I can't even say, discography is a uh, my thing, yeah? In hip hop alone, but also she dives deep into the R&B game as well. Like her pen womanship is elite, yeah? It is elite. Then her whole creativity skills in terms of her visuals as well is just a different level of, I don't know how to explain it, like she's just, she does her thing. Like she cooks differently, yeah? Her, like, her food just tastes good and you know it. So let's get off to a good start. So there's basically um, 16 tracks on this album. This was released back in 2005. The artwork, see here's the thing, I would have expected her to have been in a kitchen or something like that. So I don't under, I don't really understand the concept of, it's like the um, Harlem Renaissance, yeah? That's the vibe I'm getting. And it also reminds me of, um, you know that video, is it Pastor Cavassier? No, 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 is it that? Nah, there's another video, yeah, but I can't remember what it was. The Buster Rams. I, yeah. Yeah, what's the one with Buster Rams? I know it's got Buster Rams in Buster Rams in. I think it is part of the Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that. It's that. And it's got Monique in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting that so I took sort of vibe. Um so I do a reaction video reaction video to that song. Leave your answer in the comment section below. But anyway, back to the album. So the track list goes Joy. Featuring Mike Jones, Mike who? Leave your answer in the comment section below whenever you see that. I'm going to repeat that again. The first track is Joy, featuring Mike Jones, Mike who? And then the next track after that is Party Time. Then there's the song Irresistible Delicious, featuring Slip Rick. Uh, Lose Control, featuring Sierra and Fat Man Scoop. Uh, My, My Struggles, featuring Mary J. Blige and Grand Poobah. Then Meltdown, then On and On, We Run This, which is without the manicure interlude. Then there's Remember When, then there is For My Man featuring Fantasia. Then there is Can't Stop, then there's Teary Eyed without the mummy interlude. Then there is Mummy with the mummy interlude. Then there's Click Clack, then there is Time and Time Again. Then there is Bad Man featuring Vibes Cartel and M.I.A. See. I'm glad I did a, a review to this album, yeah, because, yeah, imagine all this time, yeah, I didn't even realise Missy Edit did a track with Vibes Cartel. I honestly didn't know. Um, and I've heard the song before, which is interesting, but I didn't really acknowledge it at that time, thinking, do you know what I mean? Like, for me, because back then, I didn't really care about collaborations and all that stuff then, who, who someone works with and whatnot. Like, I never really cared about all that stuff. If they do, they turn to do their thing. But, like, at the same time, whoever someone works with, you don't know. It's like, put it this way, Vaz Cartel, as far as I'm aware, nah, I'm not saying that. Nah. I want to know what era he really blew up in, right? But I don't think it was around 2005. I think he blew up around... Two thousand. Well, then again, it depends on who who. It depends who you speak to. So that's another thing. Because someone could say he blew up in in the early two thousands. Someone could say he blew up in two thousand ten. I don't know, but it's good to see that he's he's worked for someone like Mr. Elliot, and just you see what I mean. And he's done his thing, which is funny because no, we won't even get into that. But anyway, there was one track on this album, right? Um, in fact, before we get to that, I think also I like about this, this album is there are some songs where Miss Elliott references in regards to cooking, in, in regards to food. I think that's a good look because it carries on the theme, the cookbook. But um, and then even in the intro, the Dre, she mentions about the ingredients. I don't even know who's the I don't know who does the voiceover, but it's like. She, she mentioned the ingredients, she mentions, she mentioned the features, which is interesting. And then, um, 
Who else is there? And what else is there? Yeah, so basically there's one track where oh what song was it? I'm trying to figure out what song it was. Um let me think. I think it was Meltdown. If I'm if I'm correct, I believe it was Meltdown. Um and she basically was saying that she cheated on her guy. Not I don't say it was her per se, but I don't know, but let's just run with that. So the the woman, not her, I'm not gonna do with Missy Elliott because I don't know whatever, but the woman cheated on the guy. And the guy stayed in that relationship. Now, here's the thing. I know it is double standard, and I get it. Where okay, it's okay, it seems okay if a woman stays if a man cheats. I don't agree with cheating full stop, yeah? If you want to have an additional person in a relationship, whether it's just for sexual pleasure, whether it's just for adding another type of value to the relationship, then cool. Do you, yeah? It's okay. Like, you can have an open relationship. You can have a polygamous relationship. There's different type of relationships that that can can and do exist. Yeah, it's just that we've been promoted and programmed from an early age that's only about monogamy. Now, the funny thing is, I, I wasn't really aware of the term of monogamy up until probably a few years ago, but from growing up, the scene in TV from a childhood, you normally see that situation. But what's interesting is, like, I've always I've had many crushes yeah, as a kid, yeah? So my thing is, imagine if all of them, like, hmm. First of all, in primary school, yeah, when I went to one particular primary school, I had, like, a number of crushes. Now, imagine of, with all those girls, there, yeah, and I know it's just this kid stuff, isn't it? But, like, I just want you to understand what, understand what I'm trying to say. If... Imagine if we're playing Kiss Chase, right? And they're all my girls. You see what I'm saying? Not one of them is just one of my girlfriends. They're all my girlfriends. You see what I mean? I think even, um, oh, what was it? I can't, there was another program I was watching. I, uh, I, I can't remember, remember it, but basically I swear that they, they were going on like he has, it was a kid and he's like, going like he's got more, had different girlfriends and stuff like that. How many girlfriends do you have? And I swear there's like another video that went run around where um he doesn't know who to choose, blah blah blah. Something like that. I can't remember. But anyway, let me not tear off into a different tangent. Overall, yeah, Missy Elliott, this album, I'm gonna give a straight 10 out of 10. Yeah. Um before I even get in more to D as a while, I'll give it 10 out of 10. Um Basically, what you need to do is learn how dating and relationships actually work. Learn the different stages, or not just stages, different types of relationships properly and know what you really want and stick to that. Don't just settle just because you feel not everyone is going to be on the same wavelength. No, you attract essentially what you want and need anyway. You've got, like you're naturally going to attract it. You just have to be confident about it. Once you're confident with it, you attract it. I get. Listen. Do you know how interest? Do you know how interesting a magical life really is when you have got a next level of confidence and you're attracting what you like, what you want. What you're you're attracting, you're manifesting what you want. Listen. So click the link in the description box below. But to become a member of the Akibiran Trust, you will get access to online courses such as you know roles and relationships, and that's where you're going to learn all of that key information right there now back to this album basically this cookbook everyone should learn from this cookbook yeah learn from this cookbook she put the right ingredients get me it's just tasty it's so tasty i want some more do you understand i want some more on some oliver twist shit more do you know what I mean? Can I have some more, please? Get me. Like, I couldn't tell you what my favourite track is on this album. I really couldn't. Because I could say, oh, but, but then what about Joy? Then what about Irresistible Delicious, Lose Control? 
than what about my struggles. Mary J. Blige, he's saying she, she doesn't rap, but she was rapping. And um, then there's on and on. Then there's we run this. Then there's like I love the, the little slow jam type of vibe on for the for my man. And this is the thing with Missy Elliott, she can do like like hip hop, like the 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 um the energy side of it. But then she and she can bring it down to another level where it's just like slow jam, and it sinks in well. Like that sonically, it sounds good to the ear. It doesn't sound out of place. So that that's another thing that is key. That like what she what she done. So obviously it's a veteran this thing. And then there's Terry eyed. Then there's Click Clack. Then there's Mummy. Then there's Time and Time Again. Then Bad Man. Like literally the whole album, yeah, is just full of good food. That you just want to munch. You want to munch it. And it just tastes so good. That you want some more. But anyway. So 10 out of 10. Link to the albums. In the description box below. Make sure you go stream that. Give Miss Yellick her roses. While she's. Just give her her roses. Give her. Let, let, let her know she's appreciated. And not only that. She needs to be on Drink Tramps. I've been saying this for a long. 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 While. She needs to be on Drink Tramps. Because she's probably got. So much stories to tell. She's got. She's probably got more stories than Fat Joe and Godfrey. No. Yeah, Fat Joe. She's got more stories than Fat Joe, T. K. Kirkland, and who else? A, a Jamie Fox combined. She probably got so many stories. But she needs a platform to speak and tell her stories. And Drink Champs should be it because what's that platform about? Honoring legends there. Yeah? Come on, come on, come on. Anyway, I've done ranting. It's not, it's not even ranting, it's just speaking truth, all right? Um, you got any other suggestions for me to do? Go ahead, leave that in the comment section below. Remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next. And Miss Yellow, she is the queen of hip hop. It's plain and simple.